Hello guys, and here's a video, part of my informational video little things for people that want to know what various different tools are within the workshop and what, what they're for. Now, one of the common questions I get asked is about clutch alignment and clutch alignment tools. Now, over the years we've used various different ones. Uh, we've bought the clutch alignment tool from Halfords, the one from Machine Mart, the Clark one. But the best one that I've found overall is this one. And it came on the tool van um, last year, and it's the Mechanic 17-piece Universal Clutch Alignment Tool Set. Now, it covers wide range from Mazda, Mitsubishi, Citroen, Fiat, Ford, Honda, VW, MG, Rover, Saab, Aldi. And how it works, okay, you've got two bits. You've got two bits within the tool set. That bit there is your main your main actual setting tool. These bits along the bottom are for your flywheel. And these bits along the top are for your actual clutch plate. It's the clutch friction plate itself. Now if you look close enough, you notice they're numbered. And they're also, if you look, different various different sizes so you got to when lining a clutch up you got to make sure that you check to see what the actual diameter is that is within your flywheel so what you do you get your alignment now this one's not actually this dual mass is off an Audi A3 and it's not actually on the car but it's just there for purposes so say for instance a number eight what you do you then not put it all the way on because you just want to make sure that it's the right one you put it in and you should within the actual gearbox with the engine's actual um crank you should then it should slide in it should be a nice tight fit not too tight that you can't get it out but enough that it'll hold the actual thing straight Okay, now, you also, what you want to do, which if you notice, this is a clutch that's out of an old Ford Focus that we did two weeks ago. You get your, and if you notice, little inner bearing just there. Well, that, what you need, is the top row. So, you look along, and this one looks like it's probably a number seven. So, put it in. Uh, sits in and it means and how it works and what you want to do make sure that fly one or what you do is you set the set it up so that then goes on top and that okay goes on but now you've got the you set up for the right ones what you want to do is make sure it's nice and tight all the way up and while you uh, tighten it up because then once you're tight you know it's not going to come off as you can see there you go make sure that you, you fit through and then technically you put your actual plate Put your plate on onto the fly with your actual and as you can see but what you do is when it's on the car on the engine block itself you move it to the point that it's sitting square you then your actual clutch plate You line it up, put your bolts on, make sure that you're centered within, and then make sure you bolt it all up. This is only for document process, I can actually show you. Um, but that's pretty much how you do it. It's not really hard to line a clutch up as long as you've got the proper tools. By having it centered, it means that the gearbox will just should go straight on quite relatively pain free.
Now, if you like these videos, please comment below, or like and subscribe, and I'll do some more. Cheers, guys.